Welcome to The Commit, folks. I'm Neil. Today we're here at VTS in Bryant Park in the heart of New York City, and we're here to talk about the commercial real estate space. It's a $1.2 trillion business, so let's go see what it's like to build software here. You can learn even more about VTS by checking out their DevPost team page. Just go to devpost.com slash teams slash VTS. Founded in 2011, VTS builds software to manage commercial real estate. They've got 140 employees and 30 people work on the dev team. First up, let's talk to Carl, co-founder and CTO, to learn more about how the engineering team structured. We started small, obviously, as every startup does. Um, and as we started hiring more engineers and product people and designers and QA people, we realized that we work better when we're small. So we break our big team up into small, cross-functional scrum teams. And most teams, uh, the vertical teams, focus on a specific persona, a specific user that interacts with VTS. And we have a mobile team, which is more of the, the vertical team, which supports all the different personas, along with integrations, which is focused on getting the client's data into our system once, uh, once they're onboarded. Let's look into process. So before, you, know, you didn't really have a lot of project managers or product managers, you just had you know, maybe one or two or three people on the team. Yeah. But how has that changed now that you have these scrum teams, the verticals? The yeah, in the beginning we just used to keep lists of stuff to do, right? And uh, it was only a few, few engineers, um, and as our product evolved, um, we realized, and specifically one of the engineers on the team, Karel Akhtar, realized that we needed somebody dedicated to product. We release often, we do continuous releases, so at least once a day we're releasing to production. So even though our sprint is two weeks, uh, when it's ready to go, it ships. Um, we actually ship features using um, a feature flagging. So if, we're, if we want to slowly roll out across 10 or 20 user accounts as opposed to our entire user base. You can just sort of just give those just say, people access enable to it. it. Enable those features for those specific users. And then we reach out to those users and say, hey, would you like to try this out? We would love your feedback. So we're building the product with our users. We have retrospectives at the end of the sprint for each team. Um, that really, to me, is the most important part of Scrum, is learning and getting better. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, Alex. How you doing? Doing well. So you work here on the mobile team at VTS, right? How long have you been here? I started um, about a month and a half ago. Oh wow! So like super new. As new as it gets. So uh, tell us what uh, what's mobile like here at VTS? You know, the interesting thing about the mobile team here is that we're a full stack operation. And what I mean by that is that we do have back end parts. We obviously have the client side. We don't have to hand off work to like a back end team or hand off work to a client side team. Everything that we do here, everyone on the team is capable of working across the whole stack. And I think they wanted someone to come in on the team and just kind of start, you know, contributing right away. <laughs> You know, so I've only been here a month and a half, but I already worked on the kind of uh, high profile feature. Do you have a lot of input on the product and the product roadmap? Or do you find yourself just sort of just coding what's sort of like been like assigned to you and worked out in advance? Sure, awesome question. Um, one of the reasons I chose VTS uh, while I was interviewing is that's something that I noticed in my kind of previous work environments is that I actually like having input on product. And I actually was clear about that during interviews, kind of what is the average <laughs> engineer's input on products. Um, and, and I think that you know, VTS does a great job at that. So you've actually been here at VTS for a little while, right? Maybe about 15 months? Yep, that's right. And you're a Rails engineer? Yes. Is that correct? And you work right. on the Landlord Asset Team? That's right. What exactly is the Landlord Asset Team? Uh, so the Landlord Assets Team is uh, yeah, we, we usually focus on the assets aspect of uh, VTS. So we uh, currently uh, have different personas that we work with. So we have um, brokers, asset managers, um, tenant repre representatives, and landlord is the um, persona that we focus on. So you mentioned that you know learning is a really big part of kind of what's helped your productivity and being able to share knowledge. So what have you learned about software development while working here? So I remember that before I before I joined VTS, I actually I think I had no idea about what software development was, and I think that there's more to it than just programming. There's uh, documenting, there's code reviewing, um, bug fixing, maintaining. So all of those things are part of our process that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think that's really important to have in mind and to make sure that we're uh, building a good product. So would you say that like 
coming to VTS sort of like gave you a lot more structure around how software is built, so it's not just coding. We do use Scrum, you know, so we have uh, daily stand-ups, we have sprint planning, sprint retrospective, so that's kind of really nice to have those in place so that we can actually know what we're going to build and we can kind of know what's coming down the pipeline. And, you know, while those things are happening, as I said, you know, we have all of those other things, uh, code reveals and all that, that kind of helps us to make sure we're building a good product in software development. Hey everybody, I hope you had a great time learning about VTS with us. We'll see you next time on The Commit. Cheers, Alex.